um, I mentioned this on Telegram, and I would like to kind of really go a little bit deeper. But, um, you know, I've been talking to probably um, 10 to 20 companies over the past two weeks of ATM companies all over the world. And a lot of the business models for all of these ATM companies are that they connect with current exchanges, you know, some of the bigger ones, some of the smaller ones. And then eventually these exchanges themselves keep inventory of coins, um, especially if they're you know, in high demand. And what ends up happening is they start to become their own internal exchange. But what's most important is the amount of access that they have to people in the real world, right? Where you can go from ATM to ATM to, ATM to send transactions without having to go through a very, um, very difficult onboarding process of going into a crypto exchange. I mean, many people know how to use an ATM, but they do not know how to use a cryptocurrency exchange, right? So if we're looking for the adoption, if we're looking for the ability to have an ease of use of cryptocurrencies in our in the whole real world ecosystem, this is definitely one of the best ways to go. But I always look at it as, we look at, you know, kind of the volume and liquidity that we have now. And, you know, my mission really is to, to improve that, right? And at least to in increase that uh, liquidity. But there's going to be a lot of liquidity that is not going to be shown on coin market cap. That's going to be in the real world. So we could have $250,000 of liquidity on this exchange. And in the short term, it'll probably increase because it is, let's say an ATM purchaser going um, and buying T-Pay connected through, let's say Cryptopia. But then eventually there's going to be, you know, in the medium term, long term, less and less of that volume that's reported is going to be showing real world activity. So you could have, let's say 5 million of liquidity on, Coin market cap for token pay, but you could have 50 million of actually T pay uh, being you know exchanged right through this whole ATM network right, and it's not just ATMs; it's POS uh, locations as well. So um, you can go to a market and you can just walk in, and they have like through the same POS terminal where you can you know scan your groceries or whatever, you can actually buy and sell T pay right there right. So there's a lot of different things. To this deal but i think it's not just bitcoin romania it's getting us into a space and an industry where we're gonna um, keep on learning about it and expanding it through all of europe and the first market we're going to go after is eastern europe and after that we just keep on expanding and we're looking at places in the us as well as asia um, but you know we're seeing this as just a, the right opportunity for us to really continue to increase the adoption um, i mean there's so much i can say i think the guys at bitcoin romania are fantastic uh, they work really, really hard and really looking forward to all of the things that we're going to do with them. It's not just an ATM deal. It's not just a, a network deal. There's so many more other things that we're going to be doing with them as well. So again, I'm always thinking about long term. I'm always thinking about the ecosystem. Everything that we do is to increase and expand and make this ecosystem better and stronger. Okay, I think that's extremely important that everybody understands that that's why we're there. Um, that's what we're working for. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it, Steve. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, personally, I, I just think it's it's amazing, it's incredible how like uh, common, how easy it is to like buy and sell crypto here in Romania. Like, uh, you know, I I'm in you know Latin America where it's it's not everywhere. You know, I I just saw my first you know crypto ATM. To me, that's you know mind blowing that you can actually send somebody T-Pay and and go cash it out. That that that's incredible. 